All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and just talk about the setup, talk about the build and everything, what we're doing. Uh, I guess we'll talk about the actual weapons and stuff that we're using uh, in the gear. Literally, the only weapon that uh, I'm holding the entire time is literally just this dark army here. The best dark army you can get is any one that has the U red anointment because uh, that will affect your pets and the uh, dark army drones. So just keep that in mind uh, whenever you are trying to uh, hunt for a dark army. You definitely want to get one with U-Rad. Uh, I have the uh, Cryo, Cryo U-Rad perfect setup. Does covers a lot of weaknesses. And they uh, obviously Cryo and Radiation just go really well together. And then these are just a bunch of 300 stuff. These aren't uh, that important at all. Next up, we do have the uh, Mad Capper Shield, baby. This is where we, why we call it Mad Capper Flag. Because uh, our shield is going to be freaking through the roof. Uh, and it's due, it's thanks due in part to this madcap right here. And because, you know, our shield is really fucking high. And then we're not going to, you know, we don't have to deal with, like, enemy mayhem scaling anymore. Uh, this is just going to be very, very uh, useful in getting our shield very high and just not going down at all. Like, you're not going to take Carly that much damage at all. You'll be big, 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 big chilling uh, with this shield. Especially, you know, with uh, our tree and setup, stuff like that. You should be big chilling with your big ass fucking shield, especially the flag player. It's pretty fucking awesome. Uh, and then we have the uh, air commanded uh, calm here this one is mainly just useful because we do want to get the extra uh, action and to uh, the extra skill point into the capstone uh, so we can get our mad capper shield even higher you know what i'm saying just get our shield just that higher and uh, this is definitely gonna be the calm to do it uh, if you do not have one of these guys uh, another great option is 100 going to be a red fang uh, but just keep in mind, if you, don't have, if you have a red fang, you're not going to have your shield nearly uh, as high as you would have uh, with the air commanded with the extra point into the capstone. So just keep that in mind. Uh, and then I would highly recommend that you just use any deathless. Honestly, you just want to get your hands on any deathless uh, with any decent passives, any AOE passives, any radiation passives. Uh, cryo passives, any passives that just help you out in general. A uh, snowdrift deathless would be really well. Uh, I mean, obviously, an atom bomb deathless is very good because uh, you know it helps out your radiation damage. But if you don't have one, uh, snowdrift could be uh, very, very well for sure. And then, honestly, my toughest hunter seeker, uh, I would say the grenade is the least important part of the entire build. So just pick whichever grenade you want. I just picked my toughest hunter seeker because you know they're pretty cool. And then here is our master tree. So basically, guys, what we're doing here, we're trying to give our pet as much damage as possible. So, you know, that's why we do have things like Ferocity. We only have a little bit of Persistence Hunter just to help our Gamma Birds last a bit longer. Uh, then we have Go for the Eyes to help it uh, get some extra crit damage. Uh, we do have Heat Bites because that just goes hand in hand uh, with things like Frenzy as well. And then we do have Hive Mind. Honestly, uh, I feel like you only need to put one point into here after further testing. So you could probably take this one point, throw it into Go for the Eyes. Uh, and then we have... We do have mutated defense in just case we do take some damage because we're always going to be at 1 HP with our deathless and stuff like that. Along with that, we do have shared spear, which is going to be pretty, pretty solid. And then we do have our pack tackles, which is just very, very good and helps out our pet overall. Nothing in the hunter tree. Uh, our stalker tree, uh, I'll be real honest with you guys, you're not going to be going down hardly that often at all. Uh, I just use like the wounds as a security blanket, but if you if you think you're all right, fuck it, dude. Put these nine points somewhere else. Uh, you can put them somewhere else in the uh, the master tree. You could probably get yourself some dominance. You can max out your hive mind, and you can definitely max out your go for the eyes. Real quick thing I want to uh, mention: we don't get Hugh rescued Hugh because this is only for flax uh, pet uh, This is only for flax health regen, but we have a deathless, so that's useless. Uh, Psycho head on a stick only procs whenever flax kills an enemy, which really will not be that often. And barbaric yop is for uh, pet bonuses granted to flax. So do not get pet. Uh, just. Do not get Barbaric Yop, it's not worth your time or your skill points at all. And honestly, uh, you could probably get uh, some dominance if you want to, because all you gotta do is just shoot one enemy in the head and then there'll be uh, an ally for you. Uh, we, Well, we do not have that on with this setup. We should not have the skill points. But just keep that in mind, if you do not even give a fuck about Lick the Wounds, then you can go ahead and by all means go in there and put those nine skill points somewhere else. Uh, then this is definitely where we have most of our tree, uh, most of our skill points is going to be the trapper tree, duh. <laughs> uh, so we got gotta go fast. Uh, obviously our pet damage moves because very very nice. Uh, I like to select some in just for the nova, just because this uh, radiation nova does get mayhem scaling, and it just goes in hand in hand with you know our atom bomb deathless, which is very very nice for sure. And then we only have one point into agility training just to help uh, 
our uh, you know our reload speed because we will be reloading our dark army a lot just because you know the dark army the only way to proc the uh the damage buff this thing gets is whenever you shoot it down to you have to force yourself to reload so that is uh you know that skill point is actually going to be a little bit useful and then throw ripper is a must-have it's just way too good and it gives your pet megvor and you need that so definitely get throw ripper combat veterinary i just like the uh, little security blanket aspect giving our pet uh, some life steal, which is pretty solid. Uh, we don't have anything to better our toys. This is just from the class mod. Uh, obviously, lethal force authorizes very, very nice uh, because this uh, loader bot damage does get mayhem scaling. Uh, I've seen this loader bot damage uh, one shot uh, health, like you know, phases uh, against anathema. Uh, and this is a radiation explosion, and that is an armored enemy, which is pretty fucking insane because you know, armor does re re uh, resist radiation. So just keep that in mind. This is very, very useful. Uh, and then we have take this, you know, give uh, our loader bots some uh, some of our, you know, give them a madcap as well. Uh, and then we have the war loader. It's just very, very good. Does a lot of fucking damage. We only have one to not even challenge. Uh, this is really all we, that we need here. Uh, if you would, you know, if you want to take some of the skill points out of here and put them into here, you're more than welcome to. But I feel like the only one's needed. Woolly armor just good at giving our pet a lot of damage reduction uh, whenever their sh uh, whenever our pet shield breaks. And since we're really not going to be having that much aggro on us, we'll have our full shield pretty consistently. Uh, this will definitely just help our pet uh, take a lot less damage. Uh, Monkey do yes, take this. Uh, this is going to increase your pet damage, and this is very very important. Uh, so definitely max out your monkey do obviously fuzzy math i've only f i've only f i found that you only really need three out of five in a fuzzy math you're more than welcome to get five out of fuzzy math but i, f I found that only three uh three is really all that you really need with this so uh just keep that in mind uh and then we do have two in the capstone which is very nice and then uh keep them safe we don't have anything to keep them safe this is just from our class mod i didn't really find that thing to be super super useful so yeah, that, uh, eh, you know, eh, you can, eh, I, I wouldn't keep them safe uh, if I was you. But yeah, guys, that is going to just about wrap up the video. That is going to be Mad Capper Flack. Uh, as you can see, we're chilling at roughly under 300k shield. Uh, just chilling here. And then if we pop our Gamma Burst, uh, our shield is going to go to just under 600k. Uh, I believe our shield is going to max out at 574k. Uh, which, you know, for the Mad Capper flag, baby, that's some high shield, and uh, you love to see it. But, uh, yeah, guys, that is going to just about wrap up the video. hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to drop your load on that like button and subscribe if you are new. Guys, we do upload daily Borderlands 3 content. So, that's something up your alley. Uh, then make sure to subscribe, fellas. Uh, you know, YouTube also tells me that 80% of the people who watch the content aren't even subscribed. So, like, bro. You should totally do it, bro. Just, you know, help your boy out. Throw a sub my way. It's free. You know what I'm saying? Win-win. But, uh, yeah, guys. Thank you all so much for watching the video. My name's Curry. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.